Today's video is about estimation. There are three reasons you may need to estimate. One is if you don't need an exact answer. A second is to check to see if your work is reasonable. And the third is to make your life easier. The bottom line is when you go to do a, a problem, it's always necessary to look back and check to see if your answer is reasonable. Estimation is an excellent way to go back and see that you've done the processes correctly. There are different rules for different operations for estimation. If you're adding and subtracting, you're going to round to the same place value. So for example, if I was rounding the numbers 287 and 35, a student needs to recognize since the 35 can only be rounded to the tens place or the hundreds place, it makes much more sense to round this to 40. Using the 5, giving the power to raise up the 3 to 40. Whereas with the 287, many students might want to round that to 300. However, so it has the same magnitude, we want to round to the same place value, just like we did in the first example. So the 7 has the power to round up the 8, so this would be 290. The idea being that if we round this to 300, we're, we're changing this number by 13. Whereas we round this to 0, we're, we're taking away all of that value. So by rounding to the same place value to the tens place is the most sensible way to round these numbers to get an answer close to the exact answer. Our main focus today will be on multiplication and division with estimation. With multiplication, you're going to use what are known as special multipliers. Uh, I know that the numbers 3 times 4 equal 12. But I also know that if I multiply 30 times 4, I get the same answer with a zero. And if I answer multiply 30 times 40, I get that same answer with two zeros. Using this knowledge will help you when estimating with multiplication by getting just a one digit number that you can use when multiplying using your basic facts and then place zeros to hold the place value. It won't always give you an answer that's very, very close to your actual answer. But what it will do is let you know that you've got your answer in the right place value for your exact answer. I'm going to give some examples later on that. With division, use what are known as compatible numbers. For example, I know that 72 is divisible by, by 8. So if I had the numbers 74.2 divided by 8.4, I would round the 8 and then change this to a 72. Most students associate rounding with uh, changing to numbers that end in 0. But because 8 doesn't go into 70, it goes into 72, it makes much more sense to change this 8 to a 7, to, or this 74.2 to a 72. A similar example, uh, if I had the number, I know that 24 is divisible by 8. If I had 25.6, which typically you would round up to 26, and I was dividing it by 8.1. Again, knowing that my divisor is the whole number 8, I want the number closest uh, to a number that 8 will go into. In this case, 24. You know, If I go all the way down to 16 or all the way up to 32, it's too far from this dividend. So 24 divided by 8 would give me a reasonable answer of 3 as an estimate for 25.6 divided by 8.1. In this example, uh, I would use proper rounding rules. I would round 49 to 50 and the 21 to 20. Since 5 times 2 is 10, and then I've got two extra zeros, a good estimate would be 1,000. With 38 times 61, I would round the 38 to 40 and the 61 to 60. 4 times 6 is 24. Two extra zeros, 2,400. With 42.7 times 68.5, many students think, oh, I should round this to the, the ones place and just get rid of my decimal. But the problem is if you did that, you'd be multiplying 43 times 69, not making this an easier problem. Remember, one of the three reasons we estimate is to make our life easier. So we want to make sure that the problem we create is one that's easy to use. So let's round this to 40 and this to 70. 4 times 7 is 28. The zeros 
2,800 would be an excellent estimate for 42.7 times 68.5. In this example of 19 times 22, I want to give an example if you are actually multiplying 19 times 22 and accidentally made a place value error when multiplying. We know 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. But what if this student forgot when they set this up and ended up putting their answer in the wrong place? When adding, and all their multiplication and addition is correct here, but when adding, they're going to get an answer of 76. If they took the time to round the 19 and the 22 and multiply 20 times 20, they'd know that 400 is a good estimate. This would identify they made a mistake with their multiplication. They can go back and correct that error and get the exact answer which is 418. So you can see how estimation really does come in handy when it comes time to find out if your answer is reasonable. Now with division we want compatible numbers. So again I know I'm going to use 20 here. Now let me think of multiples of 20 that are close to 63. And clearly, 60 would be what I'd use here. And 60 divided by 20 is 3. So that would be a good estimate for 63 divided by 22. For 118 divided by 19, again, we're rounding to 20. And again, we're going to find a number that 20 goes into by thinking of our multiples of 20. And a good estimate for this would be 6. And for our last example, we're going to round this to 60. And I'm kind of going to use that same knowledge of special multipliers here and I'm thinking of numbers that are multiples of 60 so or multiples of 6. So I think 6, 12, 18, 24. Oh, that's pretty close there. So I'm going to use 240 here. And I know that 60 goes into 240 uh, four times. You notice the symbol I did right there is the approximately equal to symbol. That, that's used to let you know that an answer is an estimate. When you're just using uh, estimation as a way to check your own work, that's not necessary. Um, but in, in a situation when you're specifically asked to estimate, you may want to use that to let your reader know that your answer is not exact. All right, well, so a reminder that there are three reasons you estimate. One is if you don't need an exact answer. Two is to check to see if your work is reasonable. And three is certainly to make your life easier. Thanks for sticking around to the end.